All right, good morning. Um, I'm going to do a lesson this morning on um, what Yahuwah says about himself. Um, hopefully I'll be able to give testimony to what uh, the, the uh, Nabi say about uh, Yahuwah as well. Um, if not, I'll do it on another video. Okay, uh, hopefully um, by me putting it in this way, um, those who visually get it, will be able to um, understand what Yahuwah is trying to tell his um, servant Yahshua. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you hear what Yahshua Isaiah says, uh, one of the Nabis in regards to um, Yahuwah. Okay, and this is Yahuwah saying that speaking to Isaiah. Uh, I'm going to pick uh, Yeshua Yahu um, chapter 45 uh, only because um, after I finish reading it uh, I'm a very strong person but um, some things break you and this chapter broke me because I have children. I have more than four children my husband and I um, and we started young having children. Um, we got married um, in our early adult years. And I, all of them have different personalities. Yet you can reach all of them um, the same way sometimes and sometimes a different way. So this is what I'm trying to do. Uh, Yahoo woke me up with two ideas in my mind. And I was going to lay there and I said, no, I'm just going to get up in my old bag because I have a lot of homeschooling to do. So. Let me go ahead and get started. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, fill in this side spot. So this is the side. This is an area. This is Yahuwah. I say let's say this is beside him. Okay, and let's pretend as if this is a chair or just some glory box or something. So Yahuwah says, first of all, he says, "Thus says Yahuwah to his anointed." to Cyrus. So in Christianity when when you hear anointed, a lot of times they think, oh, someone's going to come in the come in the clouds and save us or uh, something like that. But it's really talking about all um like um sons of I think the sons of Jesse uh getting pulled you know, the oil would not flow. But this is what it's talking about. It's who Yahuwah has said uh, is the one chosen and in the United States or in English or in just over here in these United States our mind frame is sort of kind of Burger King we like to think of things the way we want to think of things and we don't think about where it comes from like the Hebrew so that's what I want to indicate that you're going to have to you're going to have to shut down this this have it my way. We we these Americans and it got to be understood the way we think because you're gonna miss it. Um, so anointed to Cyrus, whose right hand I have holden to subdue nations before him. Um, so just want to deal with that for a second. Now let's go to verse three and it says, and and, and I will give thee the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places that thou mayest know that I, Yahuwah, which called thee by name, am the Elohim of Yasharel. Now right there Yahuwah says he's the Elohim of Yasharel. Okay. So okay. He's identifying who he is. Okay, no problem. That's the easy one to get. Verse four for Jacob, my servant, sake, okay, he identified who his servant is too, but anyway, and Yasharel, my elect, I have even called thee by thy name, I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me, that's true, <laughs> verse 6, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none else besides me. I'm reading out the KJV if you're wondering. 
that there is none beside me. Okay? So they go to the, the side box. They go, Yahuwah declaring it again. There is none beside him. Okay, they go two markers. He said no one beside him. But I'm, I'm, I'm doing something here. I am Yahuwah and there is none else. Okay, all right, Papa. You said it again just that swiftly. So let me put another one up here. Especially if, if children are watching and the parents want to help them understand this truth. Okay. Um, let's continue. All right. So he says, one, two, three. How many got there? Three. Okay. It's another one. And then he says, I'm you, and there is none else. Okay. All right. That's verse six. I think he said it twice in verse six. So it's filling up. There's another one. Okay. <clears throat> So let's go down again. Verse 9 says, Woe unto him that striveth with his maker. So this is what you need to understand. That as I'm illustrating this, you have to understand that either Yahuwah is the words are the truth, or what man has said is the truth. Man-made traditions and ideas that it seems so unbelievable that man would even go this deep to do this. But that's because that's just just, just how evil man can be. So, woe unto him that striveth with his maker. So, you, if Yahuwah is saying, all these, I'm alone, besides me, there's no other, I'm the Elohim of Yashirel, Jacob my servant, and okay. If you go against what he's saying, you're striving against your maker. Let the pot shears strive with the pot shears of the earth. Shall the clay say to him that fashioned it, what maketh thou? So, Yahuwah says, you, us, Yashua. He made us out of clay. Shall the clay say to the one that made the clay, uh, you, you trying to tell us you made us by yourself? Okay. <laughs> Shall the clay say to him that fashioned it, what makes you? Who, what you making? Tell me you made me by yourself, alone, besides you, there no other. Or thy work. He that had no hand. Let me go down. Again, verse. Um, let's say verse um, 14. I could really go into the uh, to the story, but I'm just gonna stay focused on this uh, purpose at hand. 14, latter portion. Surely Elohim is in thee, and there is none else. There is no Elohim. There is none else but Yahuwah. Okay, there go another one. Okay. Verily thou art Elohim that hideth thyself, O Elohim of Israel, the Savior. So he says he's the Savior, he's the Elohim of, of, of Yasharel. Okay, verse, uh, chapter, uh, verse 17. But Yasharel shall be saved in Yahuwah with an everlasting salvation. So you'll be saved in Yahuwah. Everlasting salvation. Okay. Verse 18. For thus said Yahuwah that created the heavens, Elohim himself that formed the earth and made it. He had established it. He created it not in vain. He formed it to be inhabited. I am Yahuwah, and there is none else. Right. And that seat is full. Okay. Now, the purpose of the seat being full is for you to understand that either you're going to have to accept what Yahuwah says or you're going to have to call him a liar. Now let's go to the latter uh, portion of uh, Yeshayahu um, chapter 45. Now I'm going to go the opposite. Okay? But I'm going to use, because Yahuwah continues to say this, okay? So let's see. Let's see the um, verse 21. He says, uh, Tell ye and bring them near. Yes, let them take counsel together. Who had declared this from ancient time? Who had declared this from ancient time? Who had told it from that time? Have not I, Yahuwah? 
Now he says, now from the, from the, from the ancients of times, he's been declaring this. Who else? He said, who else has been declaring this? Because he knows he's been declaring it. He says, what has he been, been declaring? He says, uh, have not I, Yahuwah, and there is none, no, follow him else besides me? Okay, he said, there he goes again. He says, there is none beside me. So I'm going to go the opposite now. It's for those who believe. Because, see, some people think that when he says there's none beside them, you put somebody beside them. See, that was the first illustration was about. That's why I kept putting them. You know? see, he, when he would say something because you don't trust him, I just put something beside him. Because when he say there's none beside me and he's the only Savior, you don't believe him, so I put a tab there. But now those who believe what Yahuwah says, I'm going to start removing from his words what he says. I'm going to show you. Okay? He says, uh, and there is no... Elohim is besides me, a just Elohim and a savior. So he explains he's a savior. For those who think there is some other savior besides him. Okay. Then he says, <laughs> my goodness, and there is none beside me. Okay. Okay. I get it, Papa. Okay. <clears throat> Look unto me and be ye saved. Okay, Papa, I will look unto you and be saved. Okay. Okay. Uh, all the ends of the earth, for I am Elohim, and there is none else. Okay, Papa, I believe you. There is none else. Okay. Um, I have sworn by myself the word that's gone out of my mouth in righteousness and shall not return, that unto me every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall swear. So Yahuwah says, first of all, he says, I have sworn to myself. Okay? And we know that old adage that every niche of Irish tongue shall confess that JC is L-O-R-D. But Yahuwah says, no, 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 no. That's going to be done to him. Verse 24, surely shall one say, in Yahuwah have our righteousness and strength. Even to him shall men come, and all that are incensed against him shall be ashamed. Say so. They ain't gonna come. It's finally gonna come a day where everybody gonna realize you who it actually is, all of him. But the ones who are uh, don't understand you who is alone, they gonna be made ashamed. You just pick what you want. To be made ashamed. I can't force you. Verse twenty-five. In you who shall all seed of Yahshua be justified. So we're gonna be justified in Yahuwa, not in JC, not in uh, uh, Joshua, and shall. Glory, and we're going to glory in him. Now, who is, um, who is Yahuwah's, who is Yahuwah's son? If you really want to be legit, let's remove it. Let's remove it. The beside, and let's just identify who the son is. Oh, uh, who the son's not? It's not JC because in the new uh, in the um, new in the supposed New Testament, which I'm, I found out is just is just uh, plagiarism from the old. JC ca cannot be because Yahuwah just told us there's none besides him. He just he just says it so many times it's mind boggling. JC's not because we know. Especially when uh, those of us who used to be Christians, uh, it says um, that he's going to sit at the right hand of the Father ever to uh, wait till the Father make his enemies his footstool. Well, Yahuwah ain't nobody besides him. And either you're going to believe what Yahuwah says and stop conjuring up all these mighty ones. And yes, this mighty one does have authority. That uh, name, Horus, uh, Cyrus, whatever you want to call it, Iosis, has authority because... People give it that authority. People give it their strength. Okay? So, there you have it. And, last but not least, let me let the kids see the name. Yo, hey, ooh, hey. Yo, hey, ooh, hey. Yo, -ha. That's for the kids, okay? All right. So let's say you have a kitty cat.
Listen, kid. Is he beside himself? Is he by, is he by himself? Yes. Is he by himself now? No. All right. What about this one? Is these two puppy dolls children? Are they um hmm by themselves? No. Okay. Are they by themselves here? <laughs> no. Are these two puppy dolls by themselves? No. All right, and that's my point.